Let's be real about ascension symptoms. I talk a lot about how the body is the bridge between the mind and the soul. And when you are out of alignment, you're not feeling it. Uh, maybe some trauma is ready, some dense energy is ready to rise up, and you haven't really been giving your body the attention that it requires, you're going to start to experience ascension symptoms. You're going to get maybe have some inflammation. You're going to get sore. You're going to feel it emotionally, anxiety, fear, stress. Those types of things are going to rise up from within. That is your higher self's way of asking you to divert energy or focus energy into the body. When we focus energy in any particular place, it expands consciousness. So the reason you're having these ascension symptoms is because your body lacks consciousness. You are separated from your higher self. You are just simply out of alignment. Now, that, again, manifests as many different types of symptoms. And I know there's a lot of breath work out there. There's techniques. There's you know yoga, things like that, that can really help you alleviate some of these ascension symptoms that you may be experiencing. But beyond all of that, if you look at it from a higher perspective, all of those are modalities or tools to do just one thing. And that is to help focus your attention, your consciousness, direct it back into the body. I'll say it again. The reason you experience ascension symptoms is because you are out of alignment. Your higher self is trying to move through into your body so that this energy can move through you higher frequency and manifest a higher frequency timeline. We all want to jump or navigate to the highest frequency timeline that we have available to us. And this is how it is done. You create space within your body. You embody more of your high frequency light, more of your higher self, and you manifest or simply shift into a higher frequency timeline. And this can be done instantaneously. But we get all caught up in the minutia in the mind when it comes to navigating these ascension symptoms. Look, ascension symptoms are a part of this process. You are going to go through it. That is how we find and feel and experience the dense energy, the traumas, the things that we have failed, you have not wanted to, to experience. You've avoided it for a long, long time. Well, it's time now because we're on this steep trajectory where the frequency of the planet is rising. We need to be able to rise with that. In fact, we are here, you are here to lead the way. So it is so important for you to take control over what is happening in your life, meaning what is happening within your body, meaning what is your higher self showing you that needs your attention, okay? So you can get caught up in the mind and think, okay, I've got all of these ailments and things. I need to find some sort of an external solution. Maybe you distract yourself and you want to go smoke or you want to go drink or something. Um, could be shopping, right? These are all distractions when this comes up. And it, it really just shifts you out of bringing awareness and focus back into the body, which is what your higher self is directing you to do. When you avoid this long enough and you start to just become or live with the pain, you just say, hey, that's just what life is, right? My body's breaking down. I'm getting older. I'm aging. Again, these are all limiting beliefs. If you choose to align with that, you will remain on a lower frequency timeline. In fact, you're going to start to feel something really strange within you, in your lower chakras. You're going to start to feel this hole, this emptiness. You're going to feel unfulfilled. And that may actually cause you to go again, try to distract yourself even further. And that just gives rise to more ascension symptoms. The more your attention is diverted outward into the field or into the reality, the slower your energy moves within your body and you experience more of these physical and emotional ascension symptoms. But again, here it is again. There is one reason why you are experiencing these symptoms. And I know we want to blame it on the planets. We want to blame it on Mercury. We want to blame it on the full moon. We want to blame it on solar flares. All of these external factors. We want to blame it on our cousin that triggered us at the family event this weekend, right? All of these things, they're all just reminding you that you have the power to get inside and get your energy moving. 
when you can do that using any of the modalities I listed earlier. It could be yoga, really focusing and stretching and constricting and releasing, getting in breath work. You could do the same thing while you're breathing. You could really focus into the lower chakras, focus into your heart space, squeeze it, expand it. You're getting energy moving. You're creating space. It allows your higher self to move up into that space and you shift. You feel it. And your ascension symptoms will simply vanish. You're going to notice in an instant that they're gone. Now, maybe you do some of these modalities, you feel absolutely amazing, and then later in the day, you start to drop again. Your vibration drops, right? You start to experience these symptoms again. That is part of the process. That is conditioning. That is going back to the old. When you go back to the old, your body will manifest the old, which has all of these ailments and aches and pains and the emotional stress and the anxiety, all of that comes back with it, right? Bring it back into the body. This is the bridge between the mind and the soul. Bring your awareness, focus your energy inward, and you will expand consciousness, creating space. Your higher self will drop in. That's what we call downloads. We could call them DNA activations. Whatever you want to term it, right? You could be connecting with your higher self, connecting with your guides. However you experience this, however you want to label it, this is just a function of bringing more of your higher self, more of your divine energy, multidimensional energy, down into your body. You ground it, you anchor it, you include the planet, you ground it to the planet, you take on the planetary body, right? And now you become this anchored, stable, high-frequency light. Your ascension symptoms will vanish. Sure, if you're having pain in certain areas, again, bring your attention, bring your focus into those areas using any of the modalities that resonate with you. Whatever that is doesn't matter. It all comes back to the same objective. That is to bring energy into the body. And you could use your focused awareness, your intent, your consciousness to do that. Wherever your attention goes, your energy flows. Have you heard that before? If you have, drop a yes in the comments below. That is your power. That is your ability to shift you in any given moment. Remember, we're overcoming conditioning. The conditioning is going back to the familiar, the old. Oh, there's the aches, the pains. Yeah, it sucks, but I know what that is. I'm familiar with that. I'm not so familiar with this new so your ego is going to want to keep you safe, keep you within what it knows, right? Your higher self is opening the door and leading you into the new. And to experience that new, you need to become comfortable with it. You need to be able to get out of your comfort zone and start to lean into and become comfortable with the new. It's expanding that, right? And it's expanding your field. All the while, you continue focusing into the body so you don't Get too etheric with it, right? Because that's going to lead to more ascension symptoms because you're getting out of your body. Bring it back into the body, right? You're going to feel the expansion. You're going to feel the activation. It's going to feel amazing. You're going to want to look externally for all of that magic. Pull it back into the body. When you allow that energy to integrate into your physical body, your reality will start to reflect everything that you're looking for. So let's look a little less externally. That includes all of these astrological events and the CMEs and all of this amazing stuff. Simply observe it, feel it. It's an opportunity to get inside and create more space. It's a reminder. Don't assign it as the cause. Okay, you're giving your power away to these events. Allow them to be reminders to get inside. If something happens, it's a full moon, you're feeling wacky, you're feeling a little bit symptomy. That's a reminder to bring it back in, okay? Bring it back in. Build that bridge. Build this bridge with me, and you will realize that 5D, New Earth, was here the whole time. You were just stepped out of alignment with it, right? As you start to step back into alignment, you will start to experience 5D, New Earth. All the amazing magic that that dimensional field that frequency holds will start to become perceivable to you. You're going to start to experience it all, not because you were out there looking for it, but because you were in here creating the space for it. Okay. We manifest reality. You manifest your reality. You need to shift your frequency and ascension symptoms are a reminder 
to focus a little less out there and a little more in here. If this video resonated with you, watch this one next. Thank you so much.